St. Isidore of Seville was set to be the first Catholic school run with public dollars here in Oklahoma, but the school was blocked by the state Supreme Court. And now a brand new charter school board met to discuss next steps for St. Isidore. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager is live in the newsroom with all the details from that meeting. Haley. Amanda, the new 10 person board went into a lengthy executive session, but came out with the agreement not to take action. They say their legal counsel advised them to wait a little bit longer until they hear back from state Supreme Court justices on the newest filing in this case. Right after the contract for St. Isidore was approved last summer, Attorney General Gettner Drummond sued, calling the school unconstitutional and state Supreme Court justices agreed ruling that St. Isidore contract needed to be canceled. But board members decided not to cancel that contract during today's meeting. That's because of a petition that St. Isidore filed last Friday, requesting a stay from the state Supreme Court until the U.S. Supreme Court decides whether or not they plan to take up the case. Board members say they want to ensure they're making the best decision for students in the state while complying with the courts. This board is going to be the tip of the spear of what's going to happen in the state. We are going to bring new ideas and new charter schools that will hopefully improve the educational outcomes. And regardless of the decision from the state Supreme Court, St. Isidore of Seville has agreed not to open for this upcoming school year. Live in the newsroom, Haley Wigger, Oklahoma Zone News 9. Well, it is far from over. Haley, thank you for the update today. AG Drummond has until the 22nd of this month to respond. The statewide charter school board is set to meet again August 12th, where St. Isidore will likely be a big topic.